Tonight, we kick off a new commitment to our community, particularly for women. Our Buddy Check 3 project will remind us ladies every month to check for signs of breast cancer. And if this woman you're about to meet proves anything, it's that being aware and trusting your gut can truly save your life. <laughs> if Mia and Paisley ever invite you over for a slumber party, they're outside, no, no. go. Goes like this. The room has anything a little girl could dream of. Ballet girl, and this I'm is a mermaid. Even a dream house. We can show you how we play, and you can play too. My girls were my medicine. Feel what he say. Mom Natasha Younger couldn't dream of life without them, but she did dream of life without her. Started having dreams that Charles was raising our girls by herself and I had died and all this like crazy things was going on through my head. I did this one and mommy did this one. Besides her girl's love of ponies and pink, there was something else Natasha couldn't ignore. A lump in her breast that she noticed during a fitness class. A woman with no family history in her late 20s was diagnosed two years ago. That's what all the doctors tell me, you're just bad luck, just because there's no reason for it, for my cancer, yep. I think there's a better word than self-exams. It's more to be breast aware. Dr. Lee Wilkie is a leading breast specialist and the director of the UW Breast Center. She says while some patients, like Natasha, notice a lump. Being breast aware, however, also means being aware of the skin, the nipple, is there any retraction? Are there changes in the skin, color changes, um, new areas of pain that might not have been there before and are not normal during a regular cycle? Beat it, Bobby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Natasha went through chemo and radiation. I am bald because of my medicine. Eventually a mastectomy and an implant that had to be removed. So it was almost worse than being actually diagnosed because it was, you know, like, Waking up and I have nothing. So if you see her, please be kind. Don't but in the end, she's cancer free and here with her girls who even at a young age can grasp why mommy didn't have any hair for a while. Still, even when she kisses me, I can't catch what she's got. And there's a moral to Natasha's story. <laughs> the dream house, the dream room, the dream life. <laughs> It can all still happen even after a like, lump. Follow your gut. Whatever you're thinking inside, make sure you speak up to those doctors. Self exams are still encouraged once a month for high risk folks. Here are the basics to kickstart our buddy check system. Know your risk, particularly family history. Get screened. Know what is normal for you and your body and make healthy lifestyle choices. And remember, on the third day of each month, we'll be on air with a self exam reminder asking you to remind your friends and family to do the same. We'll also post additional online materials at channel3000.com slash buddycheck3. And don't forget to sign up and contribute to Madison's Race for the Cure May 30th. News 3 will be live from the event with a 90-minute special starting at 8 o'clock that morning. And tomorrow, tune in. You can learn more about how you can be part of the WISC-TV teams right here on News 3.